the compensation of the 10.6 billion shillings to six individuals happened in 2020. Kasiaru Abukurukuru was paid 6.4 billion shillings. Stephen Peter Nagenda 1 billion. Julius Wusura 1.4 billion. And Natalia Namuli 1.6 billion shillings. The government also paid Isaka Lukwana 125 million shillings. While Geoffrey Mjisha received 1.4 billion shillings. Appearing before the Committee on Commissions, Statutory Authorities and State Enterprises, Kosase, Finance Minister Matia Kasaiji admitted that this payment was made in error since it was requested by a wrong entity. According to Section 25 of the Public Finance Management Act, a supplementary budget is supposed to be requested by the user entity, which was in this case Uganda Land Commission. Instead, it is the then Minister for Lands, Betty Kamia, who asked for a supplementary budget. Now, I don't know whether this letter from the Minister of Lands then was acting as a request by the accounting officer because in the Auditor General's report, the accounting officer is saying she did not initiate the request and therefore we could not approve what was not initiated by the accounting officer. Supplementary budgets are supposed to be initiated by the end user entity. In this case, that's not what happened. It is the minister, the then minister of lands, Honorable Betty Kamia, who initiated. Why would you selectively prefer to process a supplementary budget for these few individuals and this particular case when it is within your documentation that there are so many other claims? I think it was, it is in, it was an error for sure. I can't deny that. My ministry should not have entertained this. They should have said, Land Commission, please put in your request. When the money hit the Uganda Land Commission account, it was swiftly paid by the Secretary and the Accounting Officer of the Commission, Barbara Imaro, without approval from the Chairperson of the Commission, Beatrice Biancha Nyakaisiki, and her Commission. When he was pressed harder, Kasaiji acknowledged that he was misled by his technical officers, including the then permanent secretary Keith Muhakanizi, to release the money in total disregard of the law. Yes, I can be accused of, of negligence. I will accept that. But, but, going by the amount of work one has got to th go through, you must depend on technical officers. I cannot go and call for a file to read it from page one to page two. There is no way I will have the time to go and check part of the law. If you think that the junior officers, the technical staff, have failed you, can't you take action? Ministers, we do not have power to sack civil servants. The best you can do is to refer that civil servant to the public service and they hand him. Or, if it's a presidential appointment, you can refer to the president. The committee has summoned Kasaija, Keith Mhakaniza, and other technical officers over this land compensation controversy. Yet we want to get a Hubbard Ziwa, NTV at Parliament. Their budget because they say it